Hi, Happy New Year. How have you been? I hope you have been well. How was your Christmas season? How is this New Year? How did you cross over to this New Year? You know, how have you been so far? We haven't seen each other in like a few weeks now, but here I am again. And I thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you have had a very happy, happy New Year, a very merry one. I hope all is well with you. And I hope you are looking forward to this new year just started the first day of the first month of this new 2022. So I am Cecilia and um, welcome to David with Cecilia and for more of me check out my Instagram and also my blog to know more of who I am and what I stand for. In today's episode we are not going to do the study of Genesis as we usually do but I am going to look at the previous year how I was uh, first of January last year and now how I am this year and I'm going to look at what I have learned throughout 2021 and what I have uh, what went wrong throughout the 2021 and also what are my projections of this year as it starts and uh, so I thought yeah let's just get candid and just introduce each other into this new year and get to know more of how my year had been in 2021 so firstly um, how was I in in the first of January last year, and uh, it was quite a mixed emotions when I started the, the 2021 year, and because I was um, hopeful, very excited on starting a new venture in my life or starting something new, because uh, 2021 was the year I started my YouTube channel, so I was looking forward to it, and also I had another business in mind that I wanted to do in 2021. I wanted to be a makeup artist. <laughs> and that is coming from someone who has never done makeup before, like in 2020, and the Previous years before, I had not done much makeup. It was just the simple things that you do here and there. But I was very interested in doing makeup. And I thought, 2021, I should try and actually do other people's makeup. But <laughs> as I will talk about it later, you know, you start with things very much excitement, expecting things to go as you planned, as you wanted them to. But actually, things just don't happen as you want them to. And that was quite conflicting because there is the excitement on one side and there is that uh, other aspect of are you sure you can do this you know you have never done this before this is not in your field you do not know anything about it you know i didn't know much about makeup as i do know, as i do now like over the years me doing the years over the year me doing my own makeup has helped me learn more about um how to do makeup or what makeup is, looks like and as i can tell you since i've been doing like full on makeup for a year like i have improved a lot and i've learned a lot but at the start of the year it was very scary to me and also at the start of the year i think my mindset how i had my mindset was in regards to money it was so down it was so bad i would say that because at the, at the beginning of the year i think towards the end of 2020 the start of 2021 those few weeks i think i was so down because i felt so broke i was like i am not where i want to be financially i do not have the amount of money i want to have and i think it came from the mindset of uh i all i had i was keeping in saving 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 savings i was so focused on the future and what how much money i want to have in a certain time like in five years time that i forgot that right now i actually need to, <laughs> i need money right now so i thought i was so broke but in actual sense, I had money, but I did not want to use it because I wanted at a particular date, a particular time, I'll have this amount of money that I can do whatever I want with. And also, I think I used to look at my visions or my my ideas of what I want to do in the future, like in the whole sense of it. I never look at it as bit by bit, you know, building like block by block. I only looked at this bigger picture and I wanted to do all that bigger picture in one time. That's why I think I was so focused on saving this amount of money until this particular time so that I can do all these big things and with that I had very poor idea of savings very poor idea of spending money because I think I was in a certain extent a miser for myself like I I did not give myself what I needed to give myself I was so selfish towards myself and my needs and I thought that if I take this amount out of what I have been saving then it means I'll have less by the time I want to do this and that I was uh, scared to make investments i was scared to use uh, to use or spend money you know i felt like okay why is god not answering my prayers <laughs> why well, i'm not where i want to be yet but it was such a low moment for me in the year in the start of 2021 but also it was a mixed match because that is the time also i said to invest and also 
and take risk and just take money and invest in a business that you're not sure if it will work or not. So I think I started taking good risk or big risk when 2021 started because that is when I bought my first laptop because I knew I was going to start YouTube and I knew I had to learn everything from the scratch. I learned how to make videos, I learned how to edit my videos, I learned how to upload the videos online to make all these things like editing different styles and what kind of styles I like. I knew I had to start that from scratch so I needed a laptop. Before that I never owned any laptop. <laughs> Even that I thought I would buy a laptop like some other time, but now the need came and I bought that. And also buying this phone that I'm using right now to record, it also took a huge investment because I knew I was going to make videos and I needed a phone that would be able to make me good videos because at the moment I can't st I can't yet afford a camera. So a good phone that takes good videos was very important to me. Learning to trust God and praying also that uh, this is what I am projecting to happen this year and this is what I want to accomplish. Although I am down right now, I want to do this much. I think learning to pray and speaking out your desires to God so that he hears and he, yeah, and he knows them. You know, not just thinking and wishing in your head, but actually you've never talked them out to God. You've never told, told God anything about them. And that is one of the things that I had to learn to do, to pray about it, to tell God so that he knows my heart and to release the tension that is within me so that... Uh, I think for me, what prayer does is release the tension that is within me, the anxiety that is within me, so that I know if I have told God it is all well, let me just do the best thing I can do right now and wait and see what God will do through that and how far He will take me through that. I need to do something to change my life because me just sitting there and waiting for things to happen will not happen. I have to do something. And that was me 2021. I did not know how it will play out through the year, but now that I am looking at back at it i'm like oh i'm so glad i did what i have done um i felt lost and confused because at that time i had so much ideas and so much i wanted to do and i wanted to do everything at the same time and realizing like i has i have lived through the year i'm like you cannot do all of it at once yes my mindset changing my mindset on in terms of money i really wanted to do that because i thought i was not where i wanted to be and uh I was angry and disappointed in a lot of things, you know, especially about on myself because I'm like, what am I doing with life? You know, why am I even here? What? Why am I not doing what other people are doing? Why am I just, why am I just stuck in one place? But I realized that that sense of being stuck in one place gave me a lot of time to think of actually this is what I want to do and this is the many things that I have, but what can I do now? You know, because having a lot in your mind also renders you confused and lost because you are not sure which direction to take first because all of them are good and all of them uh, bring excitement to you, but which one can you, because you cannot do all of them at, at one time, so which one can you choose? at a time so that you do the you do this one and with time it graduates to this other thing it it, it like it flows as as a river flows from a very tiny stream to a very huge big uh, river learning to take things slow and not try to accomplish everything at once and so that was me at the beginning of 2021 you know lost confused excited anxious you know, broke, but still yet have some money somewhere set up for something else and learning to take risk and deciding, oh, actually, I'm going to take this risk and however it goes, I'm going to do it. So what are my thanksgiving for 2021? What has happened that I'm very thankful for? And uh, for me, one thing is I'm very thankful that I took a step to accomplish the dreams that I had, the visions that I had for myself. I, one of it was as a mentioned before something and make a business which didn't really actually work out and it ended up realizing that it's actually not for me uh, i would rather do makeup on myself or a few friends here and there but not as a business it is not for me and um taking that step of setting a youtube channel it was a huge risk for me because Personally, I'm not a good public speaker or a good people's person i am more introverted and reserved and more, more or less, I keep to myself a lot more. So this avenue is more of talking to people and not really the people you're talking to. And sometimes it's like you're talking to yourself and it is like, why am I even doing these videos and putting it up? No, no one is going to watch them. It's only me who's going to watch my own videos. But at the end of it, all I think it is a step because it has helped me with my courage. It has helped me with knowing myself better and understanding myself better, knowing my purpose, why, what am I living for, you know, why am I in this world, and it has helped me a lot to discover those, uh, 
those aspects in my life, you know, develop uh, principles and values that I know this is who I am and this is what I will stick by. And also learning that um, me teaching the word of God is something that brings me joy and gives me joy and something that is connected to my purpose and what I want to do and the mark I want to leave in this world, you know, so that people will see like a young girl or a young lady who is passionate for God, passionate for his word, passionate for people to know his word. And that is one thing that I'm passionate about and one thing that I know it is, uh, I'm going to do it for the rest of my life so that people may know God. The other thing that I am thankful for is that I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned about how persistent I can be and how strong I can be, how patient I can be because I have been stretched when it comes to patience and perseverance and just sticking to your dream. You know, this is what I am dreaming and this is what I want to accomplish. Even though it is so bleak and so vague and um, like it's like I'm the only one who sees the vision that I have and... I have learned to be comfortable with that and I have learned more about myself and I started asking myself over and over again, why did I start this YouTube channel? Why am I doing uh, studies? studies uh, why, am I, why am I doing Bible studies in this channel? Why am I not doing anything else that other people are doing that are popular? Why am I not um, trying or venturing out into other things that probably bring views in? But I'm like, no, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to stick to. I want to stick to this. And understanding that um, it takes time to build something good. It takes time to build something that will last for a very long time. And the groundwork is usually tiresome. It is usually um, not as exciting. But as, at the end of it, all once you start seeing now the growth of it slowly by slowly, then you're like, oh, I thank God I took that time to build and to find my roots, actually, to know this is what I'm actually want to do because I think this only has taught me that this is what I want to maintain and this is what I want to do and I want to stick by it until I see it grow and I'm just comparing what I am doing now with that planting a tree and realizing that it takes time it takes time and it takes time <laughs> and a lot of effort and a lot of energy in the beginning stages especially and consistency and commitment it takes a lot of that and discipline also knowing that I no, I have promised myself that each and every week I'm, um, I'll be putting out a video and it is up to me to remind myself to put out a video every other week. There is no one who's going to tell me because this is something that I've started. This is something that I've planted on my own and something that I have to see it through until the time it starts producing fruit and other people start wanting to take off, to eat all the fruit and then they, that's when they'll be like, okay, how comes this season we have always had mangoes? How come this season... Uh, the mangoes are not as ripe as we expected, something like that. Yeah, so I have become more hopeful for the future and I've been um, learning to trust God, to trust his word and to let him use me for his glory. And I've also learned to love myself <laughs> because I realized, you know, this path of starting a business, if you've ever started a business or started something different, a venture that is, no one else around is doing it, realize it is a very lonely <laughs> kind of road because you are the only one who experiences what you are experiencing and there is a way that you can explain it to others but they will not actually get it because they are not where you are, they are not in your shoes, you are the only one in your shoes so it can be quite lonely but also learning to love myself, learning to affirm myself, learning to uh, know that um, it is well, you know, you are doing a good job, learning to tap yourself in the back and congratulate yourself when you have done something great or something good has happened. And also congratulate myself on the amount of videos that I've put up in one year without much reception. But I have been able to be consistent and be disciplined and keep up with the theme of what I want to talk about. And that has helped me to appreciate myself more, you know, love myself more. And understanding what truly love is, you know, giving it, love, giving your all to what you're passionate about for me and um, not expecting anything in return. When you look at our day-to-day -day lives or as I look at my day-to-day -day life, how I interact with others, I'm like, am I giving it my all without expecting anything in return? And the other things that are happening is here that, like, I didn't expect will happen or didn't expect I'll do is start a blog. That's the one thing when I started the, the year. Um, 2021 I did not know I will ever do because in my mind I knew very well I am not a writer <laughs> I did I have never kept um, a, what, a diary 
until I think 2019 that is when I decided let me buy a book or a diary so that I can be writing things but once I bought it I think I've written on it very few times in a year <laughs> and uh, like like the book I bought it in 2019 but still today it is not yet full and it is not a big book so I knew very well I'm not a writer or I am not into writing or into writing my thoughts or into expressing myself but something happens in June, is it June or July, and I was like, I think I need to write because a lot goes in my mind. I think about a lot of things. I have these great thoughts that, for me, they're great. <laughs> and I think uh, I need to write them somewhere or I need to find a way to get them out of my mind and into something else so that I do not have too much things going on in my mind and I have a headache because of it or anxiety because of it. So let me write somewhere. And I thought... How about a blog? Because I think I watched a YouTube channel that talked about how to start a blog and how to write it. And I started it and I wrote and I'm surprising myself every time I write. I'm like, who? Is that me? <laughs> Did all these thoughts come from my head? And I'm like, oh, I am proud of myself. I wrote all that and I've written a lot in my blog. So go check it out. I'm appreciative of the risks that I've taken taken and very way out of my comfort zone everything that i'm doing is out of my comfort zone but i am doing them and i'm doing them well and i'm seeing the growth in me the growth in how i am speaking to people here and also how i am writing and what i want to write about and what are my writing style what kind of style do i write with i have learned that through doing it and i'm very happy or very thankful for that. What are the low things that happened in 2021? One of them is I experienced loss and pain and hurt. You know, I lost someone I lost someone very close to me in 2021 and um yeah that brought about something new that I, I didn't know I would experience at the time. It was out of the blue but I thank God because with that I felt you know what um Philippians four verse six says it six or seven the peace of God surpasses human understanding. Will guard your heart in Christ Jesus. I think I have felt that and I've experienced that in 2021 because of the loss that happened to me. You know, I experienced the peace of God that surpasses human understanding because I could also not believe myself. Like I am this calm, I am this peaceful, I am this joyful, I am this hopeful for life despite what has happened. You know, I surprised myself. You know, God surprised me actually. With understanding what does it mean to have peace that surpasses human understanding and i experienced that and i felt that this year or last year that is knowing that he is always with me and knowing that i can actually live out scripture you know it is good to know it it is good to understand it in your head but it is something else to live it in your life and that's one thing that i'm learning i'm still learning and that's something that i've learned throughout 2021 and with that, I also had uh, through disappointments, the ups and lows of starting something new, and the harsh realities that comes with it. Those are, that's what are, that is one of my low moments in 2021, you know. The disappointments, the expectations that are not met, you know. And um, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> but something that we all go through it one way or another in this world, especially if you are willing to take a step of faith blindly and you're willing to take a risk that you're not sure of the returns. It happens. You'll have disappointments, the ups and the downs, you know, the harsh realities that you you knew it can happen but you never thought it would happen to me. The other low moments I like is that I battled with my mind many times whether or whether or not I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I've written a lot about that in in my blog, you know. How the battle am I where I'm supposed to be? Or am I supposed to be doing something else? Is this really what God called me to do? Or am I supposed to be doing something else? Did I hear God right or did I hear God wrong? You know, certain questioning. Actually, I did not hear a visible voice telling me this. It's just something, an intuition I had in my heart or in my mind. Probably I'm not where I'm supposed to be. You know that battle of back and forth, back and forth. And you're like, ah. But I think I am peaceful doing this and I think I'm supposed to be doing this. But we're like, but I'm not seeing any fruit coming out of it. So probably I'm not supposed to do it. So you said questioning what does success mean does it have to have a visible sign that i am successful or does success have to, success have to be i am doing this and i'm doing it well and i'm disciplined in doing it and i'm willing to grow in it and i'm actually growing in it i'm seeing the improvement that comes with it but there is no outward show that i am successful so should i change should i try something else am i within the will of God or have I deterred away from it? You know, there is so much question, there's so much battle and struggle within me. 
uh, in 2021, even until now, there are times I'm like, maybe, maybe not, but I can never be sure. But one thing I know for sure is I want to do it. Also, a couple of times, I think I felt alone, you know, and I thought of quitting. I've said that before, like, when you start a journey and you are the only one in your group or in your community or in your surrounding doing it, there's so many times you feel lonely and alone. <laughs> because you're like, because you're the only one experiencing it, you're the only one going through it. How do you expect others to understand you? They can't. Learning to get myself out of it, learning to appreciate what it is that I'm seeing, what it is that is happening, and I think that has helped me a lot. And now the only motive I have is what will happen next? What is the future hold? What does the future hold for me? What, ha what has God planned for me in the future in 2022? And I am completely blank. I just know my plans that I have for 2022. I'm not aware. I'm no I do not know what God has planned for me in 2022. But um, learning to trust God, you know, faith, you know, as Hebrews 1, 11, 1 says, faith is the absence of things hoped for and assurance of things not seen. And having that faith is so hard. It is easy to say, it is easy to tell others, it is easy to teach others about it, but actually you living it is so hard. I'm sure of 2022, there's one other thing that worried me in 2021 because I'm gay. I'm going through that a transition phase because now I'm living where I am, I'm going to something else. And it has a lot of uncertainty because not everything is how I want it to, it to be by the time I'm transitioning. Everything is not where I wanted it to be at the time I wanted to transition. But here I am, I have already made the decision, I have to move on to something else. And now I am started of <laughs> where am I going? This is very much crazy faith, crazy kind of faith, but I am going, I'm still going. I'm still determined, I have planned, and I am doing it. And it comes with a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. I have had points where I'm very anxious, I've had points where I'm very worried, but I've had points where I'm very peaceful. I'm like, it is what it is. God will do what he wants to do. <laughs> he will show me what he wants to show me. He will make it happen for us to make it happen. Because so far I have seen God working in me and are working through me. And so far I have not seen God not providing for me. So am I worried about the year? I don't know what it will bring, but understanding that even with the what if, God will provide. You seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things will be added unto you. He will provide everything we need for our daily sustenance. Casting all our anxieties to him for he cares for us. And another thing that happened last year that sometimes I tend to forget is that I had COVID. <laughs> it was so funny, you know, this COVID um, season and me having COVID because the whole time I had COVID I thought I had flu. A very bad flu that is never ending. I was like, why is this flu never ending? I'm never usually that sick. Usually when I have flu, it will last for like three days. This flu lasted for like three weeks. And it was a very strong flu because I had running nose and it was that kind of, that you feel like your nose is stuck and you cannot breathe well. You know, I had um, fever. I was feverish at some points. And, but I was still going on through doing my daily, uh, what I was doing on a day-to-day -day without realizing that I actually have COVID until the time when I needed to travel and I had to test for COVID then I realized actually I'm positive. I was like, huh? all this time that I have been sick with flu, it was actually COVID. But I thank God I got healed. Now I am okay and I'm fine. And I thank God that he did not do much damage to me. Although at some point I lost, I lost uh, the sense of smell and the, t the sense of taste, but it, it all came back and now I am fine. And overall, I could um, end like 2021 as I had growth in wisdom, in knowledge, and also in understanding of the word of God and also insight into life and what the word of God speaks about life. I loved the word of God even more. I loved God even more. And even now I still love God more. And loving to share his word even more. I think I've grown in that area in 2021. I have a deep settling peace and assurance that it is my purpose and my calling you know, to teach the word of God to many nations. So going forward, what am I projecting or what am I looking forward to do in this new year 2022? Firstly, this background will change. <laughs> In a month or so, you see a different background, a completely different background, but because I'm moving from where I am to somewhere else, and that will change. And it's another project that I've taken on in 2022, so that I will start working on it. And um, another thing is that I'll still keep on with this YouTube channel, you know, the two series that I have going on, the study of Genesis and the Conversations of Faith. I think 
for me they are important so i'll keep on doing that so that many will learn about how to study their bible through the study of genesis and also through the conversations of faith and sending the deep things about our faith what do they mean and how can we perceive this or what does a particular passage in the bible mean i think that is what i want to stick to and hopefully maybe i might start another series i don't know but probably it will be short probably they will be long but either way i'm thinking of setting something else because now i'm getting more into doing teaching the word of god and um the other thing is um uh, keep on blogging i think i will continue doing it throughout this year now and write more and i think the more i write the more i realize god will give you insight into what to write about because there are times i'm like what if i run out of words <laughs> or i run out of things to say or things to talk about yeah getting started on different skills there's one thing that i've always wanted to do is learn how to drive but so far <laughs> i've never managed to go to a driving school and start actually to drive to learn how to drive but something i want to do such driving school you know getting better at my baking skills decorating cakes and into cooking and things like that i just want to develop those skills the set of skills that i already have and um also invest in friendships more and yeah just be more intentional in friendships and being there for people and being present also the other thing i want to do this year is go out more like experience life i'm more of a home body kind of person so i will stay in the house from morning to evening day to day and i will not feel the need to go out you know as long as i have everything that i need in the house i don't feel like going out but i'm trying to go out more and experience life more and learn more and also get more books and read more one of my thing, things that i love to do also is reading so getting buying more books and reading more and expanding on the kind of books that i read so that i have a more overall not overall uh, like wide view of life and how other people view life the other thing i want to do this year is give more also get more into giving out like gifting people things you know i've really learned that as i've grown to love myself and i've learned to appreciate myself also learning to appreciate others and being in others lives you know and gifting things like that were not as natural or normal to me but i'm learning to do it now as the year as I am growing, as I'm learning more of who I am and myself and how to love myself and how to also to love others because as you love yourself, yourself, that is how you will love other people. So that has been my year 2021 and my projections of this year 2022. I do not have big resolutions. I'm not actually the person that writes resolutions. I just go with what have I been working on or what do I want to work on or continue to improve on this year. I think that has been, I just move from previous year to the next year and look at the things that I need to work on more and work on them, the things that I need to start start anew and do them. Because for me, I usually have like a long term goal, not a, by the end of the year I want to have accomplished this more. Me, For me, it's more of in the long run, this is what I want to have done. In the long run, this is the discipline I want to have um, to have taken or have improved. And um, giving thanks to God for being with me and for strengthening me and for giving me these uh, ideas that I have and helping me discover a lot about me that i didn't know was i had you know you know those things that god has put in us that sometimes unless we start something we will never know that it is in us that we can actually do it because at the end of it all it is god who works through us you know to fulfill the purpose that he has for us yeah god is good all the time and all the time he remains to be good thank you for joining me as always check out my instagram and post my blog to who i am and understand for and until next week when we see each other again goodbye and god bless you